Okay guys, I'm back to open some more boxes. So approximately around August, I took a gamble and I ordered some batteries off AliExpress. Now, if you know about buying batteries from overseas, it's kind of risky. A lot of the times they either send you crap or they send you, you know, you, I don't know, I hear a lot of people getting mostly crap. Um, I didn't know they, when these are gonna get here, but I just got them this week, so I wanted to open up and kind of show you guys what these cells look like. So this is one of two orders I placed, and it took from August until now to get them, so check it out. I'll show y'all what we got here. So we got some, look like they're copper, but you can tell they're like laminated together with heat shrink, if it'll focus. So kind of cheap, but whatever. Comes with them at least. Um, some bolts. And here are the actual cells themselves. Ooh. So these, uh, let me pull the listing up. I'll show you the listing. These are from the O-Green. They're 3.2 volt, 200 amp hour. So there's what the listing looks like. So, and I paid about 420 bucks shipped for four cells. So that's pretty cheap. Um, they rate these at 200 amp hours. Um, the terminals don't look like they're used, but at the same time, there's Loctite. Oop. This one has a little bit of Loctite in there. Yeah, get up close like. So you can see this terminal. The, I don't know how good you can see it, but there's a little bit of blue in there. So I'm not sure if these are used or not. I mean, they probably are. They look a little bit dirty, so I'm going to assume they're used. Um, I would really, I'm probably going to have to... Oop. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them all out of the box. All right, so here's all the cells. Like I said, these are 3.2 volt, 200 amp hour, supposedly, lithium iron phosphates. These do look the same size as my black Xenopolys that you guys have seen before. In fact, they look exactly the same as the Xenopolys, except this is a blue plastic instead of a black plastic. Um, there appears to be like, some sort of QR code, um, and then here's what like all the numbering on the on the uh, other side looks like. In case you're curious, but yeah, so this is about 420 bucks. I have no idea if I got ripped off or not. They do look kind of used. They're not swollen. I'm putting them right up. Uh, they have a tiny bit of swelling. Like if you put them, if you butt them together, so that's completely pushed together, and you can see right there there's a gap. So not terrible. Obviously, I'm still going to work with them because I have them, and it'll be kind of interesting to test. I don't have a really high-capacity battery tester, so what we're going to have to do with this, either test them individually with a uh, hobby charger, which will take forever, or I'll wire them up with a Dali BMS. We will fully charge them, and we'll hook it up to a watt meter, fully discharge them, and see how many watt hours we get. So I guess that's going to do it for this. I just wanted to unbox them, kind of show you guys what we're dealing with. The second set of cells I'm still waiting on, and those are more like the Cal... Calp cells, which are a white case, 100 amp hour cell. I've never had a set of those, so as soon as I get those in, if I get those in, hopefully they didn't get ripped off. Um, we're also gonna do an unboxing of those and we can kind of compare and contrast the two, but I took a little bit of a gamble. I've heard all the horror stories about buying batteries directly from Alibaba or AliExpress. If you're going to spend good money on lithium iron phosphate, look up a trusted seller. But I wanted to try these out, they're cheap, so like I said, I'm gonna wire them up into a battery. Actually, let's test the voltages real quick, make sure we don't have any that are completely dead. Okay, I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and top balance. I'll show you all how to do that. I've already made a video on how to do that. So pretty much like that. And like I said, these are the cheaper. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough bus bars. They only include just enough to do, okay, so I'll have to make my own for that, that's fine. Or we can just do two at a time. Like I said, these are pretty cheap. I mean, you can see they just stacked a bunch of thin ones. Focus. So it's not a solid piece of copper. They do appear to be copper, so. And you know what? I'm not going to complain, I guess. It didn't even include a nut, uh, lock washer. And the threads all look okay. They look used, but they look okay. I don't think any of these are stripped. So, 
I don't know, have any of you guys bought and sells directly from China? Have you had good experience? Have you had bad experience? Cost per, per watt hour? As I said, these are about 420 bucks. Shipped to my door, took about three months. At least I got them. I was kind of afraid because AliExpress, which is who I used to buy these, they kept telling me it was delivered already. They kept sending me a delivery notification in my email and I never got it. So I was gonna wait like another week or two and then they showed up in two, uh, two separate boxes. It's weird that the threads have Loctite in them. I wonder what these were put on, maybe a generator or an electric vehicle or something. Hopefully they're not super, super, super cycled if they are used. But like I said, I will get a hobby charge hooked up to these, top balance, and then we will go from there.